Hi, my name is Erica Stewart. I'm a third generation cattle rancher from Moore, Saskatchewan. Uh, welcome back to our video series, A Day in the Life at Pine Ranch. So today is June 7th and I'm out in the pasture with the last group of cows that have calved. So right now all of our cows have had their calves um, and these 12 behind me are the last group. So there was 12 in that group and they all calved in the third cycle. So here's a few of our, our late calvers. And what I mean by third cycle is a cow is able to be bred and get pregnant every 21 days. So that's considered one cycle. So we have our cows, we put the bull in with the cows for three cycles. And for the heifers, we only give them two cycles. As I said before in another video when we were picking replacement heifers, we're trying to really select for fertility. And in our cows, our goal is to um, only put the bull in for two cycles this upcoming year. As a rancher, having calves born close together, so in the first and second cycles, is really important because then when we go to sell our calves in the fall, um, they're a more uniform group, so they, they weigh a similar amount. So ranching is a fairly solitary job. Um, we can't just, you know, walk down the hallway and, and chat with a co-worker if we have questions or feedback about what we're doing. So one of the places we look for to help us always improve, kind of like our continuing education, um, would be attending conferences and webinars. But there's a really great um, group in Canada called the Beef Cattle Research Council, and they do a ton of very relevant information for producers. So one of the things they came out with was called the 21 day calving challenge. So the point of it is to try and get the majority of your cows to calve in that first cycle. So here is the BCRC website and kind of an infographic they have made up about that 21 day calving challenge. So we didn't implement it fully this past year. I mean, we still have cows calving in the third cycle, but we actually did get 70% of our cows to calve in the first cycle, which was great for us. And one of the things we have to make sure for our cows in order for them to be fertile enough to calve in the first cycle, obviously to make sure that their nutritional requirements are met and they always have access to clean water, um, but also that their micro and macronutrients are balanced. So how we make sure their micro and macronutrients are balanced is we take feed samples of the silage we put up. So once it's cut in the field, we um, gather up a little bit, put it in a bag and send it to our nutritionist. And they analyze it and come up with how much protein and energy is in that, but also what our micro and macronutrient levels are. And those levels can vary on the type of crop we plant and our soil. So this is the insert from our custom mineral mix. So after those samples are taken, then our nutritionist uh, formulates us a mineral mix um, to make sure everything is in balance. So it's just like if any of you out there take a multivitamin or for any of the ladies, if you're pregnant and you take a prenatal vitamin, that's essentially what we're giving our cows um, to make sure that those nutrients are all in balance and the cow is healthy and then that fetus insider is healthy as well. So this is what the mineral looks like. And in the winter, if you remember my videos, we have a mixer wagon. So we just dump that in the mixer wagon at the accurate um, amount per head that our nutritionist tells us to. And so the minerals that are very important uh, for calving and breeding would be selenium, vitamin A, and zinc. So the mineral is one of the ways we ensure animal care on our operation, um, all the while still being able to produce high quality, nutritious beef for our fellow citizens of Canada to enjoy and around the globe.
Thanks for tuning in to the video today and I hope you learned a little bit about how ranchers are always try always striving to improve their operation and yeah I hope you enjoyed the little bit of information I shared with you about our goals and how we're striving to improve here on Pine Ranch. Uh, I hope you can tune into another video.